Hello everyone, it's Carol from Carol's Cuties Reborn Nursery. I'm here with Kenny and Kenny is ready to get changed up for fall. He is so excited to be putting on his fall critters. He is going to wear this little fox bib and these little fox leggings along with his onesie shirt. So without further ado, we'll get started changing you, Kenny. You wanna say hi to all your aunties and uncles? Oh yeah, he's so excited. <clears throat> I feel like since school started, I just don't have time to make as many videos as I would like. Um, <laughs> I'm exhausted by the time I get home. This year is really super challenging for me. I try to be positive, but some days just are super hard. <clears throat> and, um, excuse me, today we had a lockdown drill. Um, so it's sad that we have to practice what to do if people come into our building who aren't supposed to be there with weapons or whatnot. Um, but we practice. I try to tell, I try not to tell my kinders that that's why we're practicing. I just say, we just want to make sure our door is secure and that we are safe in school. And I tell them, you know, when we're practicing, our principal is going to try to get in the door, um, but because we have a special um, thing called a boot that slides in to the floor through a special mm, bar that's attached to the door, um, the door is unable to open. And uh, I show them, and then we practiced it a few times. And then when it really happened, uh, they were a lot better. Although I do have one student that is super challenging. And um, he was freaking out just because we had to do work. Hmm. And I knew that the drill would put him over. So I called for help. Um, to have someone in my room when the lockdown drill happened. And, uh, oh, look at you, Kenny. You look so cute. Um, no one was able to come to my room to give me assistance. So all the kids in the class did a phenomenal job of coming over to where I had shown them. And uh, they pretty much did what they were supposed to do. And I have to give them credit because I still have four-year-olds and I have five-year-olds and uh, 20 kids. And then one student totally <laughs> wigging out and no help. So by the time it was over, I was about to cry. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. And we just grin and go on. Um, thankful that we can do what we have to do and most of the kids were just wonderful. So Kenny, these pants fit you really good. These are by Milk Barn. I found them at the resale shop and then I found this bib there too and I was like, wow, these are awesome. Um, the pants are 6 to 12 and then the bib is one size but I think with the gray onesie, it looks just fine. And we'll snap this on you, big boy. There you go. Anyway, so it was a challenging day in kindergarten. I am totally wiped out, but I wanted to come home and make a video because I've been tired all week and I've been dressing babies and taking pictures, but I haven't done the video. So here's your fox. 
Cassie holder. Isn't that cute? That is a newbie, and he doesn't take a newbie pacifier. He takes a... <clears throat> I can get him to take this modified. I just cut the end off. Um, he, he does have a magnet, but I have more possibilities without it. I just put that in there like that, and he is good to go. Yeah, you like your fox. All right. Well, there he is. I'm sorry about the shadow. Um, but there's Kenny dressed. Most of the other babies are dressed. The only ones that aren't changed are my twins, twin A and twin B, little girls. Um, they may still have their outfits from last week. We'll have to see. Um, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, here's Kenny, all set for theme Thursday. And we'll see what the other babies are wearing. All right, friends, I'm back. I'm here at the crib. And right there, Kenny, sitting in the corner in his little fox outfit. Foxes are a critter in the fall. Right here in front of Kenny, we have Joseph. Joseph is wearing green, fall green, with his little hat. And he's got his fall critter, the fox, to hold his passy. He borrowed that from Kenny. Here's little Hans, and Hans, let's take your passy, Hans. Oh yeah. Hans is also wearing sage green, and he has little foxes all over his outfit. Just so peaceful. He's such a cutie pie. He and Joseph, they look really good together. And there they are in the crib with their big brother, Kenny. Next to those little boys, we have Olivia Joy. And Olivia Joy is wearing a little outfit from Wonder Nation. It has maroon and gold and a little pink. Um, very fall. Uh, the mushrooms are really taking over the yard in the fall sometimes. And she's got on her long knee socks. They actually go all the way up to her thighs. I guess I should say thigh highs. She's looking very cute. And I did find outfits for Lily and Ruth. Here's Lily sucking her thumb as always and she found a little fox onesie to wear with all those fall colors she has a little fall colored bow in her hair so she's got those that onesie on it's a little big on her preemie body but she also has some fall leaves and things on her little uh, booties her sister Ruth is ready to go to the apple orchard when she wakes up. And she is the apple of daddy's eye. There she is, so sweet. And here's big sister Wren sitting in this corner. And I apologize for the shadows, but the lighting's not good this time of day. Actually, this time of night, seven o'clock. There's Wren. She's got her fall colored bow. She's got a little jimboree dress that's got all those browns and golds and pinks and reds. And she's got some little brown polka dotted socks that kind of look like Mary Jane shoes, but very, very cute. All the babies in the crib wearing their fall colors or fall critters. There they are, sleepy and awake. Who's missing? 
Oh, who is missing? We will find her. It's little Peanut. We'll be back with her in just a moment. Yes, here's little Peanut. She's here wearing her big sister Wren's ball jammies, sleeper, and it is a little big on her, but that's okay. She's holding the pumpkin that says, very blessed. And she's just reminding me, especially, that I am very blessed. Very, very blessed. Even when my day is crazy and I feel like crying at work, I can still just rest in the knowledge that God's got this and he's got me. And... I am in his loving arms. He will never leave me or forsake me. And the same is true for you, friends. He will never leave you or forsake you. He's always with you. Even if you don't believe it, he's there. And Wren is just reminding us, uh, not Wren, Little Peanut is just reminding me of that with her pumpkin. And I am just so thankful to have this community, all the aunties and uncles um, in this community that have embraced me, that are watching my videos and subscribing and liking. I'm just so, so thankful. And um, I really do feel blessed to be a part of this community. Thank you, friends. And God bless you. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.